Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make uh, some simple changes to the configuration files of Sublime Text to make it an even better editor. I've posted this article from Web Design Toots, and it's fairly straightforward. They're using the Mac, and I can go ahead and open up Sublime Text on my Mac as well to show you the difference between the two. And you can walk through uh, of these, but essentially, we I've briefly mentioned this in the past. Sublime Text, by going to Preferences, Settings, uh, User, gives you the settings uh, that you can overwrite. Now, this doesn't look very useful. It's completely empty. If I go to Settings Default, you'll see that this is what we're kind of looking for. This is the way that Sublime Text uh, configures itself. That's what makes Sublime Text so fast, so lightweight, and um, as an application, even though this is kind of daunting to a new developer, once you get used to it, uh, it's, you'll greatly appreciate it. This article goes through and talks about some changes that make, uh, you know, just make it a little easier to use. If we want to make a change, we need to be inside these brackets and we need to format them the same way as you see in the article here on the right. So if I want to increase my font size, I use double quotes, font size, colon, 18. And that's going to be pretty big. Notice that I do need a semicolon. And as soon as I save this, It'll tell me that the article was wrong. Don't, don't tell the article authors that. But you don't use semicolons at the end. You use commas. Guess what? You don't use commas unless you have two lines. So since this is our first line, we just end it with nothing. And boom, as soon as I save, I get some massive font. I'm not using this in, uh, in Consolata font. I'm using the default, so let's drop that back down to maybe a 14. Uh, that's still too big. 12, that's still too big. And you can you can see there what's going on. Uh, some other ones. Now, if I want to add a new line, this is where I need to add my comma. We can we don't have to always type these out. You can feel free to copy and paste these from the article. What does this do? Now remember, my last line does not have a comma. So if I save this, you see it just kind of gives me a little padding, a little space in between the lines of my editor. If you like things to be a little more compacted, you can get rid of those. This one I like, highlight line. You probably find that it's easier to just start these at the top. That way you don't have to delete the comma after each one. What this is going to do, you can see the change. Whatever line my cursor is on, it highlights. Just makes it easier to identify where you're at. And you can go on and on with these. There are a ton. Um, and they even get into some other, uh, some of the plugins have their own settings file that works the same way as this. There are even themes. If I open up here on the right now, I've got what Sublime Text looks like on my Mac. And then here on the left is what it looks like on my PC. So you can see I'm using a different theme. The colors are a little different. I'm using a different font. It's a little bigger. Uh, it's kind of a flat design. I'm working on three projects, or really two projects right now, but I have that folder in there just because. And uh, so I have my sidebar opened up. The little global... Um, I forget what Sublime Text calls it, but the 20,000 foot view, I found that that was just taking up space, even though it was kind of cool, I wasn't using it, so I turned it off. So what does my settings file look like on uh, my personal development machine? Let me make that like that. So you can see here are the, the pieces that I'm currently using. I'm using the Flatland Dark theme, uh, and then I'm using the Menlo font, some of these are the same of the ones I just showed you. Oh no, actually I overwrote that. I'm using the Flatland Dark Sublime theme, so it's a little different. Uh, this uh, this is one of the things I love about Sublime Text. It's incredibly 
customizable, much more so than almost any other application I've ever used. You just have to know what little blurb to use, and it's all documented. You can go on the Sublime Text website and find out what settings uh, you want to change.